What's up, everybody? It's your girl Erica from the Classy Quan Blog. I'm in DC with Kendra from the Key Resource. So she's taking me out to get tacos. I'll let you guys see some more later. So we're here at CPAC and it is ridiculously crowded, but it's actually quite interesting. <sighs> well, we had uh, talk about prison reform. We have Laura Inger coming on. Saw the Blaze TV, Diamond and Silk are over there. It's not my favorite, but let's see if I can catch it. And what CPAC would be complete without a statue of Ronald Reagan? Just wouldn't be CPAC. Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Con Blog. We're here at CPAC. As you can see from where we're at, right now we're charging our phone. Uh, some of the thoughts today, we've had some great conversation about prison reform, pre-trial incarceration, bail bondmen making money off people, cities and states making money off people. Uh, also, we've had a couple of conversations about uh, Second Amendment rights. I've seen Diamond and Silk. I was gonna ask them for their autographs. I just don't know about that one. But hopefully, the rest of this day can go pretty well. So, see you in the next part, later. So this is some of the behind the scenes craziness at CPAC. Very crazy. They can find me at citizensopposingprohibition.org and tell your congressman that the, that the marijuana should be a state's rights, 10th Amendment controlled issue. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Don't want to be weird, but my stay-at-home friends' moms won't believe I met you. Oh, you so mean, everybody, we, gonna, we, gonna, we, we are at the CPAC. <laughs> well, we're going to rub it in because you're not here. <laughs> okay. There you go. Well, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Erica, from the Classy Klein blog. We're out here at CPAC. Uh, it's interesting. It's a collection. This is uh, the views from the gala. So the best speech so far I saw was from Demarcus Davis of the New Orleans Saints. We're talking about pre-trial incarceration. Essentially, having people locked up in jail to the benefit of who? Bills, bondsmen, the city. We spent $13 billion as a society on people who are nonviolent being locked up at jail because why? They couldn't afford bail. But we are giving bail to rapists, child molesters, criminals. We're giving bail to people who honestly don't deserve it. Uh, this is something that's important. I'm glad he came and talked about it. His situation said as a football player, he stole some groceries. He was locked up for three days. If it wasn't for his coach bailing him out, he could have stayed in jail for three months, five months, and did what? Effectively missed his season in Arkansas. <sighs> He's a football player. Now imagine all the hundreds of people who aren't football players being adversely affected, families being torn apart, because auntie, uncle, whoever, for whatever reasons they did it, are locked up in jail and not able to come out because they don't have bills bondsmen. So here's my thing. Let's do stuff that is smarter. Now, have you heard any of the Democrats talking about this? Have you heard any of the Democratic platforms talking about how we can fix pre and prison incarceration? No, you don't. You don't have any of that happening. So, give it a nod to ZPAC for that. Now, Laura Ingram's up there, not my favorite. I will definitely walk around and give you some shots and scenes from the event. So, later you guys. This guy's on fire, you guys. You definitely check him out. Crazy amount of staff. Uh, literally heard two or three people say we gotta get to the Latino community, which cracked me up, and the black. So that's my comedy for today. More sea bag. This guy has an amazing jacket. Go USA. I love it, it's just the maintenance to take care of some of these. For those of you saying, Erica, you don't understand, I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. I didn't have the parents, I didn't have the money, I didn't have the ability, I didn't have the possibilities like you do. I don't talk like you do. That doesn't matter. Enjoy the ride, you guys. Figure out how to get on the other side of those tracks. And the only one person in charge of that, and the only person that can change that is you. And who's that? That's you the books you read, people you hang out with, and how you spend your time. You wanna change your life? You wanna get on the other side of that? Figure out how to do it. <laughs> 